Stands the tower of your romance. 
to ask But no one knows The meaning The one and some that you will find The tower of your own memory Black as a sea White as a sea One evening, as the sun was going down, the prince came to a small lake. Not far from the path, he saw a girl standing there, who seemed to be picking flowers. She wore a belt embroidered with gold, and a dark veil fell down over her face. As the prince went by, he greeted her. She looked away, so that he couldn't look her in the face. But she returned his greeting. The prince asked her the way to the Tower of Memory.
Once upon a time, people lived in simplicity. They don't they have a real tent. tent. There was there no, was no war, killing, killing. Everything could be put into rights and rights and goodness. In time, in time, became very rich, rich, very rich. Then conflicts, then conflicts began. began. There came wars, there came wars and rumours of wars. wars. And nearly every and nearly man, was every man was killed. In the end, a queen gathered together the surviving women the and children, and led them to the, the mountains. And there they chose to live, and led them to the the women succeeded in creating peace. And in order to keep this peace, they decided to make a vow. And in order to keep this peace, each one bought a rose branch. Then they wove together, and so the tower of memory came to be. And so the tower of memory came to be.
Hello. Have you got anything for me? Well, you look cool. I've only got this boat here, but I'll gladly give it to you. Hey, you two. I'm just a poor gardener, and on these bare rocks, nothing will grow. Well then, little dwarf, I'll give you this rose I have here. Go and plant it on the highest peak. Oh! If I plant this wondrous rose like you told me, in a few years, the whole mountain will become the roses. As you heard, in time the rose turned into a beautiful garden where King Lorin lived with his dwarves. It was a glorious kingdom that Lorin ruled over, majestic and beautiful, and people far and wide heard rumour of the wonderful garden, which was surrounded by a single silken thread. Yet no one was permitted to come too near. Lorin demanded a terrible toll from anyone who dared to step into his kingdom.